friends, it's Miss Erica here at the Marie Flushing Memorial Library, and welcome to Story Time. Now, this week, since summer is slowly coming to an end, I thought I would share one more beach book this week. So, who better to explore the beach with than Curious George? Now, our book today is called Curious George at the Beach. And it was written by Margaret and H.A. Ray. It's very warm today, George, said the man with the yellow hat. Let's go to the beach. The beach was very crowded on such a hot day. I'm going to change into my trunk, said the man. Look around. But don't get into trouble. Now when the man says don't get into trouble, George usually finds some trouble. George started to explore. Someone had built a castle in the sand. People were splashing and swimming in the water. Nearby, a group of boys and girls were playing volleyball. George wanted to play too, but no one seemed to notice. So he climbed up onto the net, and when the ball came his way, he grabbed it. What fun! George jumped over the heads of the players and landed on the sand. Now he could play with them. Hey, someone shouted, give us back the ball. Then the players chased George, and he was scared. He dropped the ball and ran away. Now where could he go? Then he saw a lifeguard tower. While the lifeguard was pulling his boat out of the water, George climbed onto the tower. George could see a lot from up here. George picked up the lifeguard's binoculars and looked through them. Everything seemed so close. He could see a little boy on the pier. Nearby, a woman was sleeping in a beach chair. George looked at the boy again, and now the boy was running. He was running straight towards a hole in the pier. He could fall through. George blew the lifeguard's whistle. Then he jumped down and ran to the pier. George reached the boy just as he was about to fall. George grabbed him. Meanwhile, the lifeguard had heard the whistle and ran over to help. Then George's friend and the woman who had been sleeping rushed over too. If it wasn't for you, the lifeguard said to George, this little boy would have been in real trouble. The, uh, the woman gave George a big hug. Thank you, said the woman. You saved my grandson's life. She turned to George's friend. Won't you both have something to eat with us? So they all had lunch on the beach. A hero deserves a good meal, said the woman. And George agreed. Great little beach book. I hope you enjoyed the story and I'm hoping that I get to squeeze in one more beach trip this summer. How about you? Well, I hope you have a great day and enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye bye my friends!